hey my friends so we're going to continue on the automation if you haven't seen my previous videos I talk about automating buffer and only wire and today we're going to talk about a social jukebox so if you're trying to find time to build your audience to grow your fans to to sell your courses you need to be building your audience to to generate any income right so one of the things is generating and generating um engagement through automation now I'm not saying automation automation is not the best way to do things you really should be doing it organically but we don't all have the time it takes a lot of time to do all these organic posts on a whole bunch of different platforms and if you're trying to do a lot of um posts on a lot of platforms automation does really help and automating isn't that hard to do but you got to have the tools there's tons of tools out there I've used a ho whole bunch of tools I've tried Hootsuite I've tried um I'm, I'm using IFTT I'm using uh, social jukebox I'm using buffer I'm using only wire and there's automation within actual uh, platforms which maybe we're going to talk about a bit today but today it's social jukebox so if you haven't heard about social jukebox we're going to explain to you what it is how it works and how you can use it to automate your social media posts all right we'll talk about that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. Social Jukebox, what is it? When I first started using that tool about three, four years ago, it wasn't called Social Jukebox. I think it, I think it was just called Jukebox or maybe Twitter or something. But anyways, it started off with a tool to automate on Twitter. That's all it did. It lets you automate on Twitter. And I thought it was really cool because it was basically a, a set of a, it's jukeboxes you know how jukeboxes in the for music right where you where you can pick a song from a whole list of songs and play that right well the jukebox idea was that you would have a a series of posts all set up and they could be shared and reshared on automation throughout so you could have like a hundred quotes for example right and that's one of the things I did and I'm still doing now but you have 100 inspirational quotes or 200 or 500 and then in that series you might post one a day right it takes a long time to go through all the 500 and by the time you get to the 500 your posts people won't remember and actually lots of them won't even have seen the first few ones right so you can start over right so social jukebox does it even more it's uh, it's um anyways there's a whole bunch of things you can do with it uh, uh scheduling uh setting up uh jukeboxes uh copying jukeboxes there's all sorts of things I'm going to show you that just right now let me just share my screen and show you what social jukebox is so if I go to socialjukebox.com socialjukebox.com right oh share my screen sorry sharing the screen share the screen okay so if I go to socialjukebox.com I don't know if you can see it right there socialjukebox.com right so socialjukebox socialjukebox.com s-o-c-i-a-l-j-u-k-e-b-o-x.com right so you go there um now I'm already signed up so it takes me to my jukeboxes let's show you what it looks like if you're not signed up I haven't been there in a long time so socialjukebox.com when you first go there it's going to give you this message about automation there's there's different levels it's not a free there is a free 14-day trial as you can see but it's not a free platform it's not a free feature so you do have to pay for this as well but you know at 10 bucks a month or well 20 dollars a month actually um and I actually have it at a lower price than that because I've been around for a long time but yeah so that's 20 bucks a month it's actually really really good gets you 10 jukeboxes 5,000 stored posts 50 targeted posts up to three linked social accounts and then in these other ones you got 10 10 50 you know that they have different plans obviously but what does it let you do so first you have to sign up with one of these uh, you can sign up with Facebook Twitter or LinkedIn right and they have a video here that explains how it works and all that but let's just show you uh, from my account all right so 
when when you so there's a couple of things to keep to remember so first it'll support three different platforms it supports Facebook LinkedIn and Twitter all right so if you want to um if you want to post on any of those you've got to create a jukebox now you can also Im import a jukebox I'm trying to see where that where is that jukebox library so if you go to the jukebox library you can see all these jukeboxes that you can actually import and these ones the Tim Fargo is actually the owner so that's him there he's actually the creator of the site uh but you can see there's 150 942 50 50 500 ones so this is the number of items in the jukebox this is the number of times it's been downloaded and I guess these are the ratings right so I, I and there's and as you can see there's 546 right so there's a ton of them so if I search for example quotes inspiration right uh, inspiration is there not a oh there you go tab okay so now I'm getting uh some of the inspiration quotes I got uh, 25 of them so there's there's one more in the next page but this gives you an idea if I look at say for example Angelo David Cobb I don't know who these people are but let's just take a look at uplifting quotes if I go here oops oh I guess it's I'm not sure I haven't done this in a long time not sure what it's doing right now is it downloading is it it looks like it's hung or something but jukebox is basically a list of posts right so let's go let's go back to my account I'm going to show you um I'm going to show you what it looks like in my account so say for example I have my blog posts that I do every day right so in here I can sort them by when I created them these are the most recent blog posts so I can add a post I can say hey from a social jukebox have you heard have you heard of this amazing automation tool I talk about it in whoops in my episode uh, number 226 of course whoops course income secrets find out more at uh, well, let's just post something cis226 dot js .com. okay so that's that's basically a post I can upload an image if I want I can choose an image if I go into my um right over here into my course income secrets let's just put this image this one here let's just put that one there and then it'll upload it and then it'll become an image on the side here so you can see right there I can save and post or I can just save it so when I save it it just adds it to my list of jukebox items if I save and post it'll post it right away right now as well as as well as put it in the jukebox so let's just save and post and if we go into Twitter because this was my Twitter account if I go in here and I look at the posts you can see I have this post that I just did right now hey social jukebox have you tried heard this amazing automation tool I'll talk about it in there and then there's a link here to go to that which uh, right now if you were to click that if you were to see that if you were to see that in my Twitter feed right now and click it it would take you to my blog which is what happens when I click it now right if I click it now it goes straight to my blog because that post isn't posted yet so but uh after I post this it'll go to the actual episode so that link there is actually the link that is going to point to the right place later right so that's one of the things so that anyways that's nothing to do with social jukebox itself but as you can see I have a ton of posts in here I have 570 in here um you can see right here 30 10 91 50 to 11 177 95 50 whether they're on or not um and then uh actions right so I can go into these different jukeboxes if I just go to say for example jumbo jukebox here this is a this is just a jukebox I picked up from the library that I showed you earlier right so these are just you know random things right and this was posted on the 18th uh let's see oh let's let's just go by there's no okay 
so 14th the 5th the 4th the 15th the 17th the 12th the 16th the 8th right so as you can see they're posted randomly so inside of each of these jukeboxes in the options you they, they have a name you have what whether it's a once and done date range or regular jukebox there's different uh, things you can do with that uh post id I'm not sure what that all oh, right so post two. Oh, look at that this was disabled <laughs> so I'm going to make that uh, enabled again because it has been posted save changes do not repeat a post at least let's make this uh, 15 days make sure I don't repeat a post so that's the thing you whenever you're automating say you're automating your jukebox and you're making it post every single day well you don't want this because it picks a, it takes the whole list and picks one randomly within that list right and it posts that on that day on, on that scheduled time slot if you will so if if the post has already been posted within the last x number of days it won't post it again they'll pick another one instead and that's what that number of do not repeat posts right so <clears throat> and okay so then what else is there uh, rss is a way to add things to your jukebox automatically now obviously in this one I don't have one because this is a, a library I had there's an add to library here under advanced uh you can search and replace I guess I've never really used that okay so that one there let's see if I have another just jumbo what about this one is that disabled too if I go to <laughs> my options post to profile yeah okay that's all good uh my jukeboxes if I look at my videos which are my YouTube videos which I haven't really updated in a long time but let's look at the options see if it's enabled it isn't look at that profile I don't know why those those weren't disabled but let's make this uh, 15 days as well it maybe could be more but it depends on how many options I have right if I have too many um if I don't have enough like this one I have 91 in here right Wednesday wisdom is that disabled this is going to be I haven't even checked this in a long time right so that's this is good that I'm doing this episode because it's it's making me go and checking things as you can see they weren't enabled and let's make this 15 days as well make them all 15 days at least uh MLSP wake up call I don't even know if that's happening it's not huh mm, seven days yeah that that's one let's make it 15. okay cool oh okay that's okay oh okay so that's I'll just say that's okay and then I'll show you how to schedule so this is the other thing so I'm just going to save this <clears throat> that's okay and what else MLSP webinar uh, options I I yeah that's going good 30 days mm -hmm. and wake up call when's the wisdom quote MLSP campaigns uh, let's see if that's even working because that that's a thing right so they if they're not enabled they won't they won't look at that they're not enabled because I I must have changed my profile or something or I'm not sure but what would mean that would mean that it basically stopped at a certain point when my account was updated or something which I didn't realize but anyways okay so now the next thing you want to do is you want to schedule things so under the so first of all you can actually go and schedule some let's say which one was it that was saying it wasn't scheduled this, no it wasn't this one but anyways doesn't matter go into options and oh actually the schedule doesn't happen here it's only there's only it used to be that you could schedule it through here uh, but you can't now now it's only visual schedule so the visual schedule as you can see I have a ton of jukeboxes all these little color dots represent a different jukebox and then there's different uh <clears throat> schedules but if I go I show uh, just one particular let's say my videos <coughs> what's the schedule on my videos right now I have my schedule on my Twitter videos that is posting at 6 a.m 10 a.m 2 p.m 6 p.m and 11 p.m I'm posting one of my videos on all those on all those times now I can go auto scheduler and it I can set all this stuff to automatically figure out things automatically which I'm not really sure I, I want to do here but let's just do that schedule all oh, okay interesting don't schedule all just this one oh that's turned off 
so but anyways that's the automatic scheduler so if I wanted to set up all my jukeboxes to a space to it so that the the platform automatically does it for me that's one way to do it the other way is if I'm in here I can actually add a post time I can say okay I want to post at 2 a.m uh as well my videos right there so now all of a sudden I got 2 a.m on the Tuesdays and let's say I want to post on the Friday as well add that there all right there you go so now I got those and I've added those to my schedule if I go back to say for example my MLSP webinars that's I just want that to be on the right now it's set to a whole bunch of posts during the during the Wednesday but let's say I add one on the Tuesday so let's put it right here at 18.08 and it's going to be my MLSP webinars weekly webinar there so just for fun of it I added one there the other thing you can the other thing is my say my SoundCloud my SoundCloud I'm posting every like pretty often right and so here's the other thing so how often should you be posting on Twitter you really want to be posting a lot because uh, if you don't post a lot nothing's you know people don't really see that much I mean it's changed over the years but still you want to be posting regularly in here so that people see you on their timeline regularly right so that's that's the schedule now if I go to say for example my LinkedIn account I'm not going to be posting 10 times a day on LinkedIn right if I look at the schedule for my LinkedIn account we'll show you that in a second we'll see that if you're by the way if you're listening to the audio you can go to cis226.jsgagnon.com cis226.jsgagnon.com to go and watch the video or read the blog post on this okay so now we're in my LinkedIn account these are my LinkedIn uh, um, uh, uh, jukeboxes and if I go to the visual schedule here you can see that I'm not posting as much right this one here is it's probably maybe well blog post blog post at 8 p.m at 2 p.m at 6 a.m so I'm posting these ones and then over here during the day there's two posts between 9 and 9 35 mlsp campaigns mlsp blog blog posts and this youtube videos over here right so I'm posting youtube video only three times a week and but you know all that right so that's I, I can go in here and I'm going to add say at 204 I'm going to post something from my soundcloud no my blog post my blog post there you go add that and then do another one on Thursday at 2 a.m and on Sunday like I mean obviously 2 a.m is not a good time for posting on LinkedIn probably but that's kind of how you do the scheduling of your um there's auto schedule jukebox schedule what is that oh, okay so jukebox schedule is this is another way I can go in here and say for SoundCloud turn on jukebox I want to repeat on every day and clear old schedule and I want to make this um repeat every day so see this the thing you can make it repeat every hour if you want say for example you're doing on Twitter you might want to do that on LinkedIn you don't want to repeat more than probably not more than once a day so I'm going to post here I'm going to say I want this to be <coughs> SoundCloud I'm going to post at seven let's say seven thirty a.m okay so at 7 30 a.m every day I'm going to post uh, a, an item for my social jukebox soundcloud my soundcloud jukebox I'm going to go like this and now you're going to see that my soundcloud wherever it was was it in there I, I don't think it was even there and there I have my soundcloud right in here soundcloud and then tanya and caesar i don't even know if that jukebox let's go back to that jukebox actually that's going to give you an idea of how this one here was an rss feed one which i'm not sure still works created 10 7 2017 oh wow yeah so that hasn't worked in a long time let's see if i go back to the rss feeds um add, there's no rss oh so it must have, i must have lost it okay so let's say i go to ray higdon Higdon Ray Higdon.com Ray Higdon.com I'm pretty sure that's uh yeah 
and then slash feed that gives me the rss feed of his blog there you go oh look at that he doesn't have a ray higdon he doesn't he doesn't have oh maybe it is yeah okay feed burner let's let's put that in here and go into the social jukebox whoops and add this see what happens add rss 10 posts in the queue okay so let's add another one let's go to um Caesar uh, Rodriguez Mm. that's not the one I want I don't want the YouTube one but let's go see if he's got a link. he must have a link to his blog right there yeah there you go there you go slash feed <coughs> okay perfect I go back to here and I add the feed poster uploading very good okay now if I go to Tanya Eliza.com or maybe I do uh <coughs> maybe I do Tanya and I do <coughs> whoops slash feed Tanya Eliza let's do Tanya and Dan Diane Hockman instead of uh instead of Ray Higdon so add this and your is not valid oh okay let's delete this one then I guess that okay let's use Diane Hockman Diane Hockman Hockman whoops dot com slash feed okay well, I guess not let's just do dianehockman.com no that's LinkedIn profile Facebook okay so Di dianehockman.com kind of weird that she doesn't show up in her uh, slash uh, feed very good and then let's put this one in here there we go okay so save this and now I have when new new posts are found add up to five and then if I go into here did he add did she add did these did, no they didn't get added yet but they'll get added and so the idea is that now I have a a, 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 a jukebox is going to automatically get updated every you know every I don't know I guess it's every day and that's one way to automate and especially if you want to share other people's or you can have your own feed in here let's see if I can I don't know how many I thought there, I could only put three but maybe maybe it's more let's put my own in here slash feed which you know I'm already sharing differently but let's just put it in here as a feed there we go yep that's good so now I get I don't know how many you can have in in here but maybe it depends on your but if I, that's in LinkedIn so let's go in here let's go into uh my jukeboxes let's go into my other account go into my Twitter one and see if I have I have that in here too uh jumbo blog posts oh free code jukebox is that one enabled under options it's not in your profile save it 15 days there we go um so can I add I see it it's in in the account at the the account level I'm at it's supposed to be 10 jukeboxes per so I'm going to see what happens if I try to create a new jukebox I can't I can't create a new jukebox I have nine or can I where's the 
oh new jukebox right here okay sorry <laughs> so you go in here and then you click on the oh see I have 10 so I can't create a new jukebox in here but let's let's say I delete one let's say I delete one um it says 200 let's delete uh, free quotes js quotes Wednesday wisdom let's delete the Wednesday wisdom let's do that there we go now we can add one so let's say let's call this rss whoops add new jukebox let's call this rss feeds jukebox is on and add the jukebox okay so now I'm gonna go into rss I'm gonna do the same thing do I have that link still yep there you go add rss and G Diane Hockman as well and network marketing marketing pro let's do network marketing let's see how many I can add uh, I don't even know how many I can add add this add uh, let's go to um Danny Johnson feed do that another feed there you go and oh, not valid eh? I wonder why I guess it depends on the type of, of uh, <coughs> account it is let's go to Tanya Eliza Tanya Eliza and who uh, there's uh, so many other leaders let's say uh um proof mango let's see if she's got a feed slash feed there let's add her that yeah good stuff now what else uh there's other course creators there's also um um what's her name Megan Harrison Megan Harrison oh she doesn't have her domain anymore oh well okay um so David Vitalis Vitalis Vitalis.com no he does some courses too yeah there we go slash feed page not found he doesn't have a feed oh that's too bad <clears throat> okay anyway so now I have these RSS feeds and if I go into posts there is nothing in here yet because it's just not but if I go to visual schedule I can just jukebox schedule I can schedule this new one RSS feeds I'm going to repeat every day and I'm going to make it every day uh, let's say repeat every this is this is Twitter so repeat every I don't know five hours and five minutes so that way it'll kind of <clears throat> start at um, let's say 4 a.m there you go so now when I do that it's going to add that and if I want to show you you'll see what what it looks like I'll just put that one in there rss feeds you see rss feeds are here see how it's four o'clock 905 1411 1915 then it stops right so that's going to be automatically uh, once once there are right once they're in there because right now they don't exist yet right there's no post in here rss feeds right there's nothing in here actually you know what I'm going to add another one in uh, rss <clears throat> I'm going to add a my lead system pro if they have it my lead system pro .com. I think it's blog I have to go to blog go to blog right the blog their blog and then let's say slash feed yep there we go perfect I'm going to add them in here <coughs> and I'm going to add them to the uh to the other one too if I go back to my LinkedIn one so now the Facebook I don't really um I'm going to rename this this one here to RSS feeds 
there assess feeds and I'm going to go here save it go into here and I'm going to add I'm going to add that one there <clears throat> there we go so that basically is going to add now let's go I don't I didn't schedule this one I don't think so let me go in here uh let's just go to jukebox scheduler it's going to be the RSS feeds and I'm going to repeat every day this is uh post time let's just make it I don't know 9 15 p.m there you go so now that's going to be on LinkedIn it's going to be at 9 15 p.m RSS feeds I got it at 7 a.m as well oh okay I thought I I just cleared the maybe I didn't clear the existing schedule RSS feeds at 9 15 p.m repeat every day <coughs> there you go now we have the RSS feed scheduled for only 9 15 p.m as will show up in a second here but that's how you use social jukebox I've been using it for a long time <clears throat> and I do actually get I do actually still get leads from this right from these posts I get leads once in a while and it's you know it's worth the extra engagement the extra stuff I get it's one of those things that um you just there's about about social jukebox uh, let's see if there's anything else uh, faq they have a whole bunch of things in here that can help if you're not sure and other settings on link social jukebox my settings and open link in link so like I said social jukebox is one of those tools that <clears throat> you know is really cool the way it does things it's not the same as any other tools and it lets you post pictures uh, images text updates that kind of stuff on LinkedIn Twitter and Facebook LinkedIn Twitter and Facebook are automatically on the on your network all right hopefully you enjoyed this and if you have any questions feel free to reach out and we'll see you in the next episode this has been Course Income Secrets, the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.